What is up guys, it is Tilbury here and welcome, I am bringing you episode 95 of the Oxford United Manager Mode. We've gone through a lot of episodes, not going to lie, and we're nearly there, we are nearly in the Champions League. But anyway, we have three games for you today, we have Blackburn at um, home, which is going to be a relatively easy match considering they're like, I don't know, 15th. Then Wigan, who are 16th away, that's going to be a little bit harder because of the away factor, but uh, we then have Wolves who are pretty much bottom. So, uh... Three relatively easy matches, three that we should win, but of course, don't take anything for granted. Anyway, we go into the first game against Blackburn, and they have a nice uh, star striker in the form of Darren Bent. But uh, Darren Bent means nothing when Lucas Piazon scores goals for fun at the other end. Look at that. In the second minute, he just receives the ball from Mr. F. A really nice pass. Uh, it takes a bit of a big touch, but uh, it's tackled, and then just somehow manages to get the ball and uh, score again. And uh, that's my Facebook. I apologize for that. Anyway. He had two chances there to uh, actually put us into a more comfortable lead, and he didn't. And uh, he, he was punished as well as we were. Uh, the defence just let down Bent Cruz through and go past our keeper pretty easily. I um, don't know what, not sure what Clark's doing again. He has moments of goodness, moments of absolute fuck. And uh, what really pissed me off is that they had another chance instantly later, Blackburn, to score. And they took it. Look at that. Darren Bent, again, just casually runs through my defence. No one wants to tackle him. Makes it 2-1 to Blackburn. So now we need to turn around. And uh, Constable nearly provided it. Strolling past the defence and smashing it. But uh, keeper saved. And uh, Oreo Romeo, again, kind of setting him up, I suppose. But uh, Constable, I don't know, tried to chip it or something. But uh, it was uh, it was left to Lucas Piazon to uh, show them how the job should really be done. And uh, he was telling you exactly how. He picks the ball up on his left foot. Just a couple of meters outside the box, uh, receives the ball from Mr. F, touches the touch to set himself, and then smashes it straight into the bottom corner, right past the keeper, right past the defenders. They can't do anything. Now we're 2 2. Let's not concede, and uh, let's uh, maybe score a goal to go the win to get the win in this match. And uh, who else other than Lucas Piazon to score a goal of the season contender? I mean, just look at this goal. I was amazed when I scored it because I did not expect him to score. Not going to lie. Look at this. He just casually runs through. Smashes it into the opposite top corner. That is definitely goal of season contender in my eyes. And uh, so is this goal from James Constable a few minutes later. And I'll let you watch it in peace. I just want to explain that um, episode 100 of the Oxford United Career Road will actually be a goal montage of uh, just just of season four goals because I think they're the most impressive. Um, I haven't scored too many good goals in the uh, the other leagues or the other seasons. So uh, so yeah, just for this uh, this season's goals. And I hope you enjoy that. That'll be episode 100. And then I'll have uh, something special coming up. With uh, Jordan and Stein, it's going to be a couple of hours of uh, of uh, playing FIFA, but uh, that, and that's like for that's like as an added bonus for episode one hundred for uh, for all the support you guys have given me, and uh, you know to make me actually want to make episode one hundred. But anyway, back on topic, the final score is four two there, which means that we get a nice win over Blackburn, and we can get a vital points for the league really because uh, I'm not going to lie, every point, every win matters. And uh, we definitely need it. Lucas Piazza was trying to, oh sorry, Oxley Chamberlain was trying to recreate that goal that uh, Lucas Piazza scored, but uh, a shabby bit of defending left to, uh, uh, sorry, led to uh, McCarthy being totally free. And uh, no, I'm not gonna lie, any striker can score that, but uh, not any striker can outpace the defenders so much that he has acres of space in front of him, and then just finesse it straight into the top corner as Oxley Chamberlain did there. So I'm not gonna lie. Within 15 minutes, we were 1-1, which is not very common. But uh, apparently, in my uh, in my career mode, it is, because it happens a lot. Anyway, we're 1-1 with Wigan Athletic, like I just said. And now now the match really gets started. That's just like a warm-up. Really good bit of defending here uh, <laughs> by whoever that centre-back on the ball was. But uh, we're going to have to score a bit of a sweaty goal, which you can expect from now. You know, it's starting to be February, May. Um, I just missed out months in between, but it's starting to be that time of the year where every single win matters because if we lose, we risk being out of top four, which means out of Champions League. And that's our goal, remember, to win the Champions League. Hopefully we'll do it next year if we get in. But uh, to do that, we have to get into third or fourth, sorry, but we're third right now. But uh, as you see there, that was my Facebook, by the way. Um, events unfolded and we're going to actually score again for a bit of shabby defending. So it was now pretty much left up to us to uh, to really go out and do it all. And it came off the bar for a tennis off to smash in home on the 60th minute. There is his trademark celebration. And that's a kind of strange one because, I don't know, the cross went straight onto Oxley chamberlains head. Really good cross from Lucas Piazon. And he hit the bar and it just bounced off and the keeper had absolutely no chance. I really enjoyed that goal even though it wasn't too good. But, uh, yeah, 
Constable made it 4-2 again in the 82nd minute. Not going to lie. Pretty good 1-2 uh, there with the uh, midfielder and then just smashes it as is his trademark. Honestly, man, my striker's a beast. Unfortunately, Wigan scored again in the 90th minute. Fletcher there, but uh, it was too late. Uh, too little too late for them to actually do any real harm. And uh, we even had one more chance of the match. Oh, no, we didn't. Um, and the final score was 4-3, as you see there. Tennyson got man of the match and uh, there was a 4-3 result that we needed. So, again, another... Vital win, and uh, as we move into the last match against Wolves, if we can uh, kind of get a win here, I mean, Ward is out, so that should be a, a bonus for us because Ward's like one of their main defenders. But uh, Aria Romero couldn't score there, and Lucas Piazon couldn't score on the volley there either. But uh, I'll tell you what, this game was full of chances for us in the first 30 minutes. We've had about four already, and uh, we were just dominating, dominating Wolves. Not gonna lie, I'm sorry for any Wolves supporters, but. Uh, Another nice goal from Oxide chamberlain Unfortunately, I don't think that one was a goal of the season contender because it just kind of it didn't fly in the top corner as Lucas Piazon did. It didn't look too good, but uh, the uh, and yeah, and the defender fucked things up. Whereas Lucas Piazon got past it all his, but a uh, really nice goal nevertheless. Even though it's not goal of the season, a very nice goal from Oxide chamberlain to give us the lead before Kevin Doyle equalizes for Wolves. As uh, as we all know happens, if I take the lead, I will always concede. That's just how it goes. I have to score more than one goal per match. That's kind of uh, damaging me, but uh, never mind. Because Lucas Piazon is the second uh, goal scorer of the match, and I think pretty much on fire this episode. Lucas Piazon is an absolute tank player, guys. If you if you can get him early on in my in your in your uh, career modes, he's worth about seven million to me now. After I've played with him all these games, so uh, you know he's going to be worth a, a a little a little less at the start. But anyway, there's confirmation that we won two one at full time, and. Uh, that's the end of the episode, so thanks for watching, guys. And as before we go, as always, we will show you the league table. We are currently third, as you see there. One point behind Chelsea, who are top, and two in front of Man City, who are fourth. So we are all good for the fourth spot for now. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!